Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you should now be able to scan documents on your Chromebook or Chromebox. If you've got a Chromebox, obviously you'd have to have an external webcam. This, this functionality come in on Chrome OS 96. You may be in a position where you've not had an update to Chrome OS 96 yet because there was a delay in getting Chrome OS 96 out. Um, I've tried to do an update on my Asus CX-5 today. It wouldn't update from Chrome OS 94. I did an update on my Asus 311 budget Chromebook. That did the update. And I've also just now done an update on my Chromebox, which is good because it's much easier to do videos on my Chromebox than on um, my budget Chromebook. Now, in relation to um, the update, the reason why we're just gonna quickly go through this, the reason why there may have been a delay is because Chrome OS now is on Chrome OS 96. And before it was on Chrome OS 96, it was on Chrome OS 94. So you might be asking, where's Chrome OS 95? The reason Chrome OS 95 did not exist is because Chrome OS and the Chrome browser, before uh, Chrome browser got updates every four weeks, Chrome OS got updates every six weeks. So there was out of sync. So they wanted to do it so when they do a Chrome OS update, it also is the same time they do the Chrome browser update. So instead what they've done is they've changed it so now Chrome OS will also get updates every four weeks, which is great. So it means your Chrome OS, your Chromebook or Chromebox will get an update every four weeks rather than every six weeks. And they've done that, so that gets it in sync, but then there was out of version numbers, so they had to skip Chrome OS 95. So now we're on Chrome OS 96, and we should also be on the Chrome browser version 96. So now we're all in sync. And that's possibly one of the reasons for the delay. And also there was issues around, I've heard, I've not tried it myself, but issues around Android apps not working correctly. So that's possibly the reason for the delay. In either way, it now looks like it is coming out because I've had an update, as I said. So I thought I would try to scan a document. Now, I've tried it on my Chromebook because I wanted to make to see what it was like on an actual Chromebook with an inbuilt webcam. The quality wasn't that great, but it is a budget Chromebook, but a lot of Chromebooks, even if they're not budget, don't come with great webcams. So on this one, I'm doing it on my Chromebox and I'm doing it on my HD 1080p Logitech cam webcam um, and it's considered a really decent webcam. Um, so you should get a decent result, but I'll show you how it looks. So let's just go on here. So first of all, how you get to it is you just need to find your camera. So that's mine there, because I've just had a look. If you can't find it, just have a look around in here and you should find your camera there. Click on the camera. Obviously, you need to make sure this only on Chrome OS 96. Um, and then click on here. And as you will see here, you can see me on my webcam. Now, if you go to scan, I was a bit confused at first because what I thought was when you hold up a document, this is just the back of a bill, so there's no private information on here. When you hold up a document, as you can see, it notices the corners, which is really cool. But then what I thought would happen is it would automatically scan. And I was trying it for quite a few minutes and it wasn't. And I was like, what is going on? And then I realized you actually do have to press this scan button down here. Now that's fine, but it can make it a bit more difficult to hold this document. So I'll show you if we do that. And also, obviously, you've got this issue that you're having to look around to make sure the corners are in. At the moment, you can see they're well off for some strange reason. Pull it back a bit. There we go. So that's sort of on. Now, I've got to get my hand and press scan. It's not on great, but the corners aren't perfect on this document. And it's done it. But look at that. That's awful. Actually, that is worse than I've had previously. So I'll try it again. Let me just retake. I do know why that is actually. It's because I've got lights in here to let me do it like that. Do scan as you can see it's a bit on the fiddly side. Yeah, that's not very good at all. And it's got my face in here. 
which again is really strange. Um, I've had a few goes at this and I did get an image. I don't know if I deleted it, let me have a look. I don't think I saved it actually. Let me just check through one more time doing this. As you can see from this video, it's possibly not going to be a functionality you're gonna use much, if I'm being honest with you. Let's give it one more go. Yeah, so you can see here the quality isn't great. However, I have got lights in the room, so that's why it looks that that um, it doesn't look that great. I will put an image on to show you how it looks like without the document, without the lights on, so you can see. The, the quality wasn't that great, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and I'll try it now with this. My, personally speaking, if I wanted to scan lots of documents, I would get a scanner and do it that way. I think where this is a good idea is if you need something urgently. So say, for example, you're applying for a mortgage or you're applying to open up a new bank account and they said, look, we need this document today. We need, and is it okay to email it to you? Yes, of course. That's when it will be great. But for that to be the case, it needs to be of good enough quality. So the problem you're gonna have with an A4 piece of paper is trying to get it in place. So if it's a smaller document, like a passport or something like that, then maybe that will be fine, but I'm not gonna scan my passport. But I thought what I would do is just scan this little document here. So let's have a go on this just to show you. And bearing in mind, like I said, this is on a 1080p webcam. On my um, Chromebook, it wasn't very good quality at all. But I do like the way it recognizes the edges. As you can see, that's pretty cool. And it's sort of good. With this, it's a lot better because I think it's because the, the color, rather than being white, it's much easier for it to recognize. So I'll do that. And there we go, as you can see. Now the quality isn't fantastic, and I was holding that quite steady, but it's not fantastic. And also my concern is, and I know it's hard, there's no real way of getting around it, is you've got your fingers in, in there, so it's not very professional. Now to do it without your fingers would be pretty hard. If it did it automatically, once it recognized the edges like that, then you could do it, but it doesn't. So it's very difficult. You've got to hold it somehow, even if it's just a bit, and then put your hand down there to scan. So there, just about, you can just about see my finger. So it's, 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 it's good that the functionality is there whether it's something I'd use. So here you do have the option obviously to save as photo or save as PDF, we'll save it as PDF. And then we close that down. Hopefully that should have gone into downloads, I would assume. No, camera, yeah, there we go. So it's gone into camera. So my file's camera. I don't think I had that there before because I don't think I've ever taken pictures on my webcam. So when you take a picture, it brings under my files a new folder and this should be that document. And as you can see there, it's, it's horrendous quality. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's possibly good if you need it urgently. Whether it's something, I'd, well, I, I, I'll let you know right now, I'd never use it. it. It's just not good enough quality. But I guess any functionality is good. And like I says, if you need it urgently for any reason, then it will really come in handy. But then if you need it urgently, you most likely get a much better picture quality off your Android phone if you use an Android phone and do it that way. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.